When my youngest son, Jack, was in sixth grade, he was given a creative writing assignment. Now, Jack's on the spectrum and uh, didn't like school and didn't like assignments, which made school hard. But we did all we could to help him. And I, his creative writing father, was bound and determined to help him with this assignment. So what I did after realizing he wasn't going to do it on his own, just wasn't going to do it, I said, OK, come with me. So we went out to my computer and I sat him next to me. And I started asking him questions. I said, where does this story take place? And he said, it's in a graveyard. What does the graveyard look like? And he told me, I was like, are there gravestones in it? What do they look like? What does the sky look like? What does the ground look like? And then the characters showed up and what were the creepy characters and what do they like? Describe them. And so I just went question after question. He answered question after question. He answered. Now it was very, I, I, I didn't want to cheat. I didn't want to write this for him. So I used all his own words. I may have punctuated it, but still, I used his words. I used his words, all his own words, didn't put any of mine in there. And we finished the piece, and I thought it came out great, handed it in to the teacher. Ooh, she loved it. Oh, your voice is so strong. You have a great, great writing voice. Okay. And I felt pretty good about this because, again, I didn't, I let him use his own words, but I thought about that assignment years later. And it occurred to me, I kind of did cheat because. I was the one asking the questions. And really what we do as writers is we ask questions. That's most of what we're doing. And a lot of craft <laughs> has to do with learning which questions to ask and which ones not to ask. Because the words, the, the answers we get, the words we get, the ideas we get are always in response to the questions we ask. And we learn to be diligent in how do we frame the question about not just what happens next, but okay, it's going to be, what is it like? What is going to be the emotional quality of what happens next? What do I want it to be? And the more we understand that it's our job to ask questions and not to answer, the better our writing becomes. We become more specific about our questions. Like, for instance, I, I liken it to Google. That, you know, what you put into Google determines what you get out. Everyone who uses Google uh, or a search engine, they're all connected to the same internet. But the answers you get depend entirely upon the way you ask the question and the type of questions you ask. It's worth remembering because, yes, the craft of writing requires us to ask questions, not to answer them. It's useful to remember because, again, uh, you know, in school, the smart kids have the answers. But in writing, your intelligence is measured in your questions, not your answers. If you had the answers, you wouldn't write the story. But it's also worth remembering what questions not to ask. For sure, within in craft world, we learn not to ask certain questions. But more than that, as you're writing, it's very important to learn not to ask questions like, is this any good? Is this going anywhere? Is my career going anywhere? What's the point of writing? What's the point of any of this? Never ask a question to which you don't want the answer. Or I should say, don't ask a question to which you only want one answer. All those questions, is this a waste of time? Am I any good? Is this going anywhere? You only want one answer, so don't ask that question. Ask questions to which you actually want answers. And when that's when we're writing our stories, we want the answers because we want to write the answers. We want to write that story and we want the answers to come and we're interested in learning what those answers will be. So pay attention. Pay attention when you're writing. Pay attention to the questions you ask. Your imagination will answer any of them. It doesn't differentiate. So make sure, just like you care about all those words that you put on the page and how the story is structured and that snappy opening and the rising tension through the middle, just like you care about all that, you care about the questions you ask and make sure they are questions to which you want an answer. And if they aren't, don't ask them. You don't have to. No, you don't. Yeah. Listen, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. As always, if you like it, hit subscribe. It does help. It does help. Yes, it does. And if you like it, it helps too. Hit like. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Yes, I do. So until next week, this is Bill Knauer. Stay fearless.